Hi everyone, you are watching Mr. Fun and Anamai. In today's video, I'll try and make a lamp, but not just any ordinary lamp. I'll make a lamp that has ambient lighting control and uh, it can also act as a phone stand with lights. So let's begin. So right now I'm just simply soldering the lights, that'll be the ambient lighting in my lamp and this will be located below the phone holder. And for the circuit part, I will first try that out on a breadboard and check uh, whether everything works or not and then I'll finally solder everything into place. And now it's time to glue everything into the holder that I made off camera. This is just a circular platform that I'll later attach to the lamp and that'll look really nice, hopefully. So let me just stop there for a moment and explain what's happening right now. This is a LDR and I've connected this uh, to the circuit and here I have the LED, LED strip located and this is the diffusion panel so and here is the switch as you can see so the switch breaks the circuit and while the um, wires come out they also are headed to this LDR which then returns the wire to finally these these two wires so these two wires are for the LED these two wires are for the LDR plus the uh, plus one would connect here and these two wires would finally connect to the 12 volt uh, output and now it's time for a really quick unboxing of the lights of my lamp that I got from Amazon now let's do the necessary connections and uh, put everything in a place With that done, now it's time to make a power adapter that will convert 220 volts AC to 12 volts DC at 0.5 amperes. This small thing right here is known as a bridge that has four diodes and uh, a capacitor of 1000 microfarad that will also help me in converting 220 volts AC to 12 volts DC at 0.5 amperes. And now, uh, it's now time to finally use a small transformer and uh, do the required soldering very carefully because here we are dealing with high voltage current. And guys, please do not try this at uh, home for yourself. And this was, this was done under professional supervision. So yeah, keep that in mind. And now with that done, let me just quickly put that in a box. And here you can see that it takes 220 volts AC as input and then returns 12 volt DC um, from this pin as output. So the lamp is finally ready. All I did was put everything in a casing and it's now finally ready. So here you can see this is the switch and uh, this is the LDR module. This is the LED strip. This is the... 12 volt DC input female connector this is the potentiometer used to control the white LED lights and it also has a removable back panel and guys all in all I have tried to make it as useful and as productive as possible here you can see that if we can also bend and change the angle of where the light is coming from Now let's power this using a 12 volt DC input and there you can see 
The LED strip starts glowing and it gives a really nice professional feeling. And there you can see the lamp is on and here I'm controlling the brightness with the potentiometer. And now finally guys, it's time to check the adaptive brightness and the ambient lighting. So here you can see, here's the sensor and as I place my finger on it, the LED, they dim and then when I remove it, it glows. So here you can exactly see. And of course guys, you can see that they are being diffused really nicely, which is getting giving them a really even tone of LED glow and that looks really nice. So all in all, this is my LED smart lamp should i say smart in the way because it has ambient lighting and this is the whole look of this lamp so i hope you enjoyed it and i hope this motivated you to make something of your own and lastly that's the adapter there you can see i've mentioned this earlier how this works and the input output etc everything so just a final look and here is the correct time to tell you what the capacitor inside of a hundred uh, of a thousand microfarad does here you can see that the leds are still glowing very faintly i don't know if you can see that on the camera but yeah it is glowing and now when we plug it in into the power slot it glows even brighter so yeah guys that was pretty much it for this video and i hope you enjoyed it that's my lamp the smart lamp and as always, this is Mr. Fun signing off.